Hello, good afternoon. My name is Josh Polanco. I'm the hall director for Duncan and the Cardinal Apartments. Uh, this is my first year as a hall director. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I do have background in education. Prior to this, I was teaching middle school math. Yeah. Um, and then I was working with TRIO programs. That's kind of how I got my foot into housing. And from there, you know, I decided to take the leap of faith and apply <laughs> out here. Uh, I do have family. For those of you that are wondering, why did I move from Los Angeles to Arkansas? I do have family that lives out here. Um, I'm very, very strong on uh, being family oriented. So I decided, you know, I was the last one living in Los Angeles. Might as well make the leap and come over here. And yeah. I'm enjoying every minute of it so far. We're glad to have you, Josh. Thanks for uh, talking to us about off-campus apartments. And we've gone live an hour early just to accommodate some schedules we had. So uh, please let us know where you're tuning in from. Um, let us know what you're excited about when it comes to moving here. Um, Josh is specifically gonna speak about uh, Duncan Avenue Apartments and the Cardinal, which we have the entire Cardinal rented for students. And so here we are ready to answer questions about the, uh, about the move-in that's gonna happen here at the off-campus apartments. Um, you said TRIO, do you mind just telling us what TRIO even is? Uh, yeah, so for those of, uh, we do have a TRIO branch here at, on campus. It's known as, a, it's the Upper Bound Program, um, but nationally they, it helps underrepresented students. I was a TRIO member myself. It's for, typically for first generation college students to help them acclimate themselves making their transition from high school into college. I know for me, it was a, a very big part in my uh, first couple of years of college. Honestly, I was a part of it throughout high school. Um, and similar to the, the Upward Bound program that's here, it brings high school students onto campus uh, where they're able to take classes that are allocated either directly for their high school diploma or sometimes even their their college credits. Uh, it really depends on, on the program itself. Uh, I did take part of it throughout my high school career from 10th through 12th grade. Uh, but then afterwards, I was able to go back and work with them. Uh, I started off as like their resident assistant as well. Mm -hmm. um, kind of doing same same things as the RAs here do, where we do floor plans, we do um, all hall events. And then afterwards, I transitioned into being their resident manager. Um, which is kind of the same thing as the hall director, except on a much smaller scale, per se. Um, I was in charge of uh, supervising the RAs, making sure that events were were planned out and were turned in on time. Um, we, I was lucky enough to take some of my students to Disneyland, some to the Dodger games out in LA. Um, and then for the most part, I did work very strongly with the on-campus partners that we had. Um, making sure that they also were able to come in and do events with the students. Nice, nice. Great. What a wonderful background to get you ready for a, for, for a move-in and for a year of excitement here at the Cardinal and Duncan. Do you mind telling us a little bit about what that move-in is going to look like for um, our students at Cardinal especially? So for our Cardinal students, it is a little bit different uh, in the sense that we will be moving in during a week. It'll be that Thursday and Friday, the 15th and 16th. Mm -hmm. um, since we are under a master lease with the Cardinal, the Cardinal staff will be the ones that are essentially providing uh, keys for students, fobs, uh, as well as if you have submitted a parking form online, you will finish, we, you'll do your parking payment then um, and as well get your parking permit for the year. The way that parking is, is working here at the Cardinal, it is a first come first serve. Uh, last I spoke to the property manager here, his name's Chad. Mm -hmm. He did say that we still had about 50 cars for, that are able to still park here. Okay, like uh, parking so, passes that yes, are available? Yes, so okay. we're not at full capacity on parking passes right now. I need to get a parking pass here at yeah. Cardinal. But we're getting close. So if you okay. haven't submitted your form, please do that as soon as possible. And like I said, it is first come first serve. So if we run out, then there is a chance that we do have more residents than parking spaces here. Mm -hmm. So there can be a chance that you don't get parking. And then um, Harmon is close by too. That's a different process for getting a parking pass there. But that's, and that's through uh, parking, University of Arkansas parking. Um, some of you are probably getting uh, emails now about getting Harmon parking passes. Um, so yeah, what, uh, how many people are in the rooms in Cardinal? 
Uh, it depends on the room mm -hmm. um, structure. There are either four bedroom apartments where it's one student per bedroom. Uh, on the bright side, we do live a little live off campus, but each student gets their own personal bedroom, their own personal bathroom. They share a living room together, and there is also a built-in washer dryer, so you're not you don't have to go outside of your apartment to do your laundry. Um, there is a fully functioning kitchen. There's a stove. Uh, as well as a refrigerator that's in there, you get a microwave, and you also get a dishwasher that you can use. Wow, so I mean, it's, it's an apartment. It's, it's a, a fully, full... yeah, fully furnished apartment. You do also, speaking of which, it does come with a couch, a love seat. Um, there's two tables that are already inside the living room. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, I think, a f each apartment may be different, don't quote me on this, but between like a 40 to 50 inch TV in the living room that already okay. comes with the apartment. Yeah. Really nice. They're all very, very new. My TV still had the stickers on it when I moved in. <laughs> sure. Um, but yeah, it is a very, it's a fully furnished apartment. We do have a pool here. There is a gym on the first floor. For those of you that love coffee, we have a, a personalized coffee machine that's on the first floor mm -hmm. as well that's free to use. You just have to bring your own mug. They, um, there's like a little ice machine there so you can make your own iced coffee. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, very much so. And then uh, a lot of our students here are gonna be first year students. Um, how, do we, how are we getting them connected to campus and events on campus? Definitely, uh, well, uh, my RAs are making a very big push to get to know every single resident that, that's living in the Cardinal and as well Duncan. So even if you're living in Cardinal, you will also be responding to Duncan RAs and vice mm -hmm. versa, the Duncan RAs, or the Duncan students should get to know the Cardinal staff. Uh, for the very first week, we will, like I said, it's kind of, um, it's a little sad that the students are moving in a little bit later, but our Cardinal staff is still being very intentional with the programs. Uh, we will be having, each RA should be taking one of their students, a group of students to an A-week event aside from they're also going to be going to the Taste of Fayetteville. They will be going to the pep rally that's on Sunday. Um, that same Sunday, we will be having the RA meeting with students uh, okay. in which they get to know, at least for the most part, their floor, who's living there. You'll be giving your roommate agreements, um, especially since we're living in, in an apartment. It's It'll be very, very important that we fill those out mm -hmm. and get them done. Um, the RAs have already started applying some up all nights or for our first years up all nights are essentially for a chance for you to get to know your RA, what their interests are. Um, there's been talks about a basketball tournament. There's been, uh, I know some of my RAs do want to take students to explore downtown. We live so close to Dixon that we want to make sure that that, that is also available for students. Uh, the as well as myself, I'm also planning some some hall director up all nights. I am very big on what's an up on up all night. Uh, essentially, it's and it's a program that happens after five p.m. for students, okay. just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with their classroom time. Got it. Got it. Um, and like I said, the up all nights are are a way for you to connect not just with your RA but also with your hall director. So it really is. A, it should show what your hall director or RA is into. Mm -hmm. um, like for myself. Yeah, what are you into? I'm a very big gamer, so okay. what I'm, I'm planning to do a Mario Kart tournament. And nice. hopefully it goes well. Please be on the lookout and come and support. What's your, what's your main car that you like to drive? Uh, I have to go with Mario. Yeah, <laughs> just straight Mario? Good, yeah. good. That's um, a good one. He's a classic. <laughs> classic for a reason. Sure. Uh, so... Looking forward to some gaming like that. Uh, when people do, like when they gather together to go walk to an event, where do they do that? In the front lobby? Yeah, well, so anytime any event is going on, well, the RAs will send out in the group meet the specific location, but for the most part, it will be in the front of the first floor lobby. Uh, we have a really nice pool area that we can meet by, or if not, just the right in front of the desk. Sure. Uh, and we talked about parking a little bit too, so that was good. Um, let's see, any other questions? Any questions from our audience here about what it's gonna be like to live here in uh, Cardinal or Duncan or really any of the off-campus apartments that we have residents in? Be sure to 
ask in the comments and we'll get the, we're talking to the person who knows how to answer those questions. Um, what do you think is an important part of, or I'm sorry, what were you gonna say? Oh, I would like to add on though, um, since the Cardinal is, since we are leasing the Cardinal, it, it, it does look a little bit different in terms of maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys, as many of the other halls, they have what's known as a fix it, where students are able to go in through the UARC website and create, like if there's a broken light bulb, for example, they can submit the form there and then maintenance will come out and um, make sure that gets done. Since we're living at the Cardinal, the Cardinal does have its own proper, their own maintenance man that, okay. that lives uh, pretty nearby. Anything that needs to get done, they're, they're aiming for a 24 to 48 hour um, response time. So that, it, that will be a little bit different than the rest of the halls that are on campus, just because it will specifically go straight to the Cardinal. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, again, uh, Cardinal is handling uh, maintenance requests, mm -hmm. not the University of Arkansas. It's a good point to make. Although we're here for you if you need yes. us, of course. <laughs> well, of course, if students have questions, I will show you how to get to it. Mm -hmm. um, you can also ask your RA to submit it for you. We'll, we'll be happy to help you and show you the process to do it so that when other events happen, you're able to submit it yourself. Yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent. Um, well, it's a great facility we have here. There's pools, uh, there's a pool. What are some of the other uh, uh, things you have here, amenities? Have? Uh, well, we have the pool, that's a very big one. Mm -hmm. um, there are barbecue stations that are located around the pool that students are able to use. Yeah. Um, we just ask that you bring your own supplies. There is a fully functioning gym with the exception of, it doesn't have a squat rack. <laughs> Um, I like to go to the gym, and I think that that's the only that's the only thing that's uh, that's missing from it being a fully fully uh, functioning just regular gym. I would say mm -hmm. uh, we do have a Amazon hub that every student will get access to the day of move in. So oh, what's that? If you have an Amazon account, uh, instead of it being delivered, depends on the size of the package. But if it's like a relatively smaller package they will be accessible in the first floor lobby at any time of the day as soon as it's delivered. Hmm. Um, and students don't have to go through the hassle of asking the front desk receptionist for their package. They want to go at midnight and pick up their, their stuff. They're more than welcome to do that. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, it makes it even more convenient to get the things that you order. Great, well, we're in, a, we're in like a computer lab area here, which is kind of cool, uh, here in the perch, the perch room. Um, yeah. Anything else you feel like we need to let our students know? Uh, there, so there are, are, it's, this is one of the bigger study rooms that we have mm -hmm. in the Cardinal. There is another one also on the fifth floor. This room itself is on the fifth floor. Uh, we do have like balcony access for students to go out and hang out. Uh, there's, there's a really cool balcony that if you love Friday Night Lights and mm -hmm. football, it overlooks the Fayetteville football stadium oh, yeah. um, and students are more than welcome to go and observe especially I've, I've heard that there are night lights that go on after yeah. the game so on a Friday night you can go watch some some night lights there <laughs> sure these would be our uh, Fable Bulldogs yeah. so very cool you can see them right here from there <clears throat> great well, we're so excited that you're arriving um, next week I think for the Cardinal and then for Duncan already arriving is that right we have had some early arrivals in Duncan. There have been some students there that came and dropped some stuff off. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, uh, move-in will begin this Wednesday with okay. Duncan. And then Cardinal next week. Great. Well, we'll continue to monitor the chat in case you have any questions and do our best to answer. But um, any final thoughts before we roll off? Well, I'm really excited. Uh, my, the RAs here, they... We have a couple of returners, a couple of new, new faces in the staff, but they're all very excited to get to know all the students. I've seen a couple of the door decorations that are gonna be given to students. They look awesome. Um, we're really driving home that we are off campus, but at the same time, we have a lot of benefits to being off campus. And plus, um, the notion of it being off campus, it's, it's just across the street, so yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not that far from campus. Across the street from campus is a good way to put it, because that's literally the case. Great. Well, thanks again. You mind uh, waving us out? Thank you. Know. you.